What's up guys uh, I just want to show you a little project I'm gonna be working on pretty soon it is a 2012 Stella uh, from genuine scooter company that uh, even though it's a 2012 it was built uh, on the old PX 150 Vespa uh, model from I think um, maybe back uh, mid 60s so even though it's a 2012 it looks like a really old scooter every time people always ask me hey man um, is that a uh, did you restore it and no I didn't restore it um, it would have been nice because it is a really cool scooter you know but uh, I did not restore it but what I want to do is I just kind of want to update it a little bit uh, give it a personal touch you know kind of customize it make something really cool out of it you know but also make it modern but keep it vintage so check this little scooter out so here's the 2012 scooter the Stella it's a 4T this is the model that's uh, not the automatic but this is a 150 cc engine and the color comes in what they call a uh, Dijon yellow so one thing that I'm gonna be doing um, or I'll give you a list of things I'm gonna be doing to it one of them is I want to change the color um, I was kind of thinking of either going with a metallic black or maybe uh, an olive, a metallic olive, or a root beer. Those are my three colors that I'm kind of leaning towards. And then obviously I want to dress it up with some chrome, you know, to keep that classic look. Um, I'm also going to be uh, reupholstering the leather seat. I'm going to do that myself because I do leather work on the side. I'm going to add some additional parts to it, maybe a luggage rack or a front uh, Prima rack that goes, that goes up front right here. But the other thing that I'm going to be updating is the wheels. So right now these are 10 inch wheels with tubes inside. And what I'm going to be changing them to is a 12 inch mag wheel off of a Vespa. Uh, I think it's a, a Vespa 300 if I'm not mistaken so they're more modern wheels it's a solid wheel so it will go tubeless but it'll allow me to put a little bit thicker tire a little bit taller tire which is kind of what I want to do I've seen these old scooters that um, that uh, have the bigger wheels and I don't know it kind of looks pretty cool man so 
I kind of dig it. One of the downsides to getting a bigger wheel is that I'm going to lose the use of the spare wheel um, because I change out. This whole thing comes off. So this is not going to be the same anymore. So I won't be able to, to uh, use it because it does have three wheels, three tires. As far as engine work, which is behind this cowl right here, um, you could do a couple of things and you can punch out the CCs to a little bit larger CC engine. Um, you can change to a larger carburetor as well as the intake. And then you can also put a different exhaust, which uh, usually have an expansion chamber. It's a little bit louder um, than what this thing is, but uh, that might be some engine work that I plan on doing just to kind of bump up a little bit you know uh, so a little bit of work I think the biggest project is probably going to be painting it because to get a real good paint job well you got to take it apart um, so I have to take off all the parts to that you know uh, break it down basically disassembled sand everything and then repaint it or if you think I should just uh, leave it like that then let me know I, you know I don't know yet I haven't really decided even if you tell me to leave it like that I can't guarantee that it will stay like that that's kind of what I plan on doing with it. Cool little project. It's fun, man. Everyone loves it. When I go around town, uh, people see me riding it. They just, yeah. The only thing is, um, even though it's a 2012, you can't buy these brand new anymore. They stopped making them. Unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, Genuine Scooter Company or LML, the, the folks that make the engine went out of business or they went bankrupt. Um, so it's just not a viable part of the restructure because genuine scooter company if i'm not mistaken still make scooters they just don't make these old classic ones matter of fact their slogan on these was um a collector's right out of the box and they really are you know uh people love seeing this scooter man um so hey look i will keep y'all guys posted on my project as i go doing it i don't know how long it'll take but i don't want to I don't want it to last more than six months to a year. I will update you guys on the progression of this project. And uh, hopefully y'all guys like what y'all see. But hey man, don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe and hit the bell. And then share it with anybody else that you know has a scooter. Um, I would love to talk to them and just kind of get a little more general insight. So hey man, I will check y'all later. Deuces. Deuces.